Today marks the start of the 2016 US Women's Open, held at Cordoval Golf Club near San Martin, California. The oldest of the LPGA Tour's five major championships, this is the first time the US Open has graced Cordoval's immaculate fairways. And the course is in great shape. I was there in April uh, playing the course when we were playing in San Francisco. Uh, I thought it was a great track and I certainly look forward to playing it this um, week. Uh, I know USGA is probably going to uh, make it a tough challenge for us and it's a lot of character on this course and a lot of great holes so I'm excited to be here. We played 18 this morning and it's, uh, it's in great shape and it's such, a, it's such a good course. I'm excited for the week, it's really good. The third major of the season, with a prize fund of $4.5 million, it offers the highest purse in women's golf, and as expected, all of the leading ladies of the LPGA are in attendance. A huge draw for the fans, despite Cordoval's rather remote location, the expectancy is for another large turnout this week. I'm happy to see a lot of people out here today, and. Um, I think we'll see good crowds this weekend. Um, it's just great atmosphere. US Open always has that special feeling to it, and uh, I know everyone is working hard, and everyone seems to be grinding early, early in the week. Um, but I'm trying to save a lot of energy and, um, you know, be prepared to go on Thursday. Designed by legendary course architect Robert Trent Jones Jr., Cordoval will challenge the players with the USGA setting up the layout to pose a true test of golfing ability. I think definitely if you're driving it really long and straight helps a lot. You know, there's a lot of room out there. You can hit a lot of drivers. And I think if you're really hitting your spots off of the tees, I think it can leave you with some really good scoring opportunities. Um, if you're hitting the driver at your targets. Uh, I think you're going to make a lot of birdies this week. Obviously, putting is what's winning tournament, and usually USGA keeps the score from going really low. I think they always do a really good job of challenging all different parts of your game. Um, I can see it get really dry here, so I'm sure we're going to see pretty firm greens uh, over the weekend. We look forward to seeing all the action unfold at Cordoval this week, which looks set to be another great US Women's Open.